Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to part two. If you haven't seen the first one, pause the video now and go watch last week's video. I hope you are as hungry as a horse because the recipe we have for you this week is flippin' delicious. Um, but since this is part two, I do not have a new drink recipe for you. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna, I guess, show you the video of my dog barking at the neighbors for about three and a half minutes. Is that okay with you guys? Not really. I am gonna make you sit through a minute and a half of us going to Dave and Buster's though. pretty big on chicken tenders so I figured I'd make sure I double up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double up my breading recipe as well that way there is enough hopefully enough to handle all of this okay so for the chicken we need flour cornmeal cayenne pepper black pepper salt baking powder and it's oil to fry in so that's what we need. We need to mix, basically mix all the wet stuff and put it in one container or one dish. We'll dredge our chicken and then we'll put buttermilk in the other one and we'll put it in buttermilk. No, buttermilk and then dry and then fry. So that is, uh, that's the plan. Oh my god, I've got the grip strength of a toddler. <laughs> I don't even like buttermilk. Why is it like trying to get it to Fort Knox over the stupid buttermilk? Oh, that's already warm. I've had that on. Oh crap, I've had that on the whole time. <sighs> okay, well, whatever. It was on like medium, so, and it's a Dutch oven. It, everything's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <clears throat> I mean, house catches on fire. Whatever. I mean, it's not like I like this house. I'll just buy a new house. Right? Right. Okay, uh, so now. Okay, so we take this, we put it in this, then we put it in this, then we put it on this. And after this is we got enough chicken on it, we put it in this. Okay. Yeah. So, ugh, ugh. Take my ring off. My watch off. So this is gross, and this is gross, and this is gross. And I know they taste good, but they're really gross to get all over your hands and your jewelry and 
you. Gross. Okay. is done and half of the batter fell off um so okay chicken's done now we're gonna start making waffle batter okay we gonna start with one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour only a quarter cup of sugar three tablespoons of cornmeal, which is weird. Okay. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. So, just mix our dry ingredients and then we're going to add the wet ingredients, which is the eggs and the buttermilk and the vanilla and the melted butter. So, we're going to mix this together. We're going to add eggs, buttermilk, vanilla, melted butter, and make a batter. And then we're going to make some waffles. this up and we're gonna add to this. Alright, we're gonna make some waffles and then we're gonna coat it with Mrs. Butterworth. We picked her because she's thick. Like, oh no, there's a waffle guts on my counter. <laughs> All right, so what do you guys think? The chicken is uh, great. It's got a little, little tang to the, the crust, it's spicy, it's the tang, but the syrup kind of obviates it. The waffle's really good, and the chicken was really good. I mean, it's, this is the best one so far, and I really, this is really good. I'm definitely best you can make this again. Next time I've had chicken and waffles. Yeah, me too. I was really excited about this one. Wasn't sure how to eat it. You put, put it in your mouth and chew. And put, but see, you didn't even eat it, right? You didn't even eat the chicken and the waffle at the same time. I did. Oh, did you? Take care of that. I'll take care of this. I don't already. So, <laughs> would you guys eat it again? Mr. Fox? Are you gonna make it again? That's not what I asked you. <laughs> 10 out of 10, wood smash. Be louder, Chad! I heard the beat. That's the beep to start, not the beep to stop. You guys suck. Right. I'm gonna cut the chicken. And the waffle. I'm just trying to go bite of it together. That's really good together. Chicken has a little bit of spice to it. Sweetness from the waffle and really, really good together. And I am, um, I'm a pretty big fan. I'm a pretty big fan of this one. This one, I don't think I have any complaints about whatsoever. Oh! 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 Click the link below because I will have a link down below where you can buy the book. 
I know as of right now, I've got about, I think I had 29 subscribers last time I checked. Once I hit 1,000 subscribers, there will be a little bit of a, of a surprise. So tell all your friends, hit the like button, um, click the subscribe button, and tell everybody you know. Um, make sure you hit that bell. That way you know every time I make a uh, upload a new video. So, like I said, this is the best recipe that I've tried so far. I've only tried a few, um, which this one gives me hope for the rest. And give it a try. If you if you do try it, put a comment down below, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. gross my apron got and got pretty nasty this time oh hello puppy dog